Hey guys! So today I am going to talk to you about eyebrows. And um, this is something that has always been quite an issue to me. And, um, well, let me show you why. Well, before I started plucking them, I had eyebrows like Rock Lee or Shin Chan. Like, seriously? Let me show you. Yeah. Big eyebrows. Not pretty. So then I decided to pluck them. This is when I was around 13 years, I guess, I'm not really sure. Yeah, about 13. That's when I decided to pluck them. So I violently attacked my eyebrows with tweezers and um, ended up with nearly no eyebrows at all. Um, I will show you a picture. And yeah, that was even worse. So then I somehow made it right and now I know what to do with my eyebrows. I still hate them, but at least I know how to kind of handle them now. So I'm going to show you today what I do to my eyebrows and what you can do to make them best as they can. So yeah, let's start. I have a short routine and a long routine for my eyebrows. I do the short routine like every other day and then I do the long routine like once a month maybe. So I am going to show you the long routine today because that's the most complete eyebrow tutorial that I can give you. First of all, your eyebrows should be positioned in a certain way and there are rules for that. Um, like the general rules are that your eyebrows should start right here when you go from your nose across the inner part of your eye up that's where your eyebrow should start then the highest point of your eyebrow should be like that when you go across your iris your nose and then past your iris like that so that's where the highest point should be and then your eyebrow should stop at the point from your nose to the outer part of your eye and that is where your eyebrow should stop now as you can see my eyebrow grows nowhere like these guidelines so I cannot really follow them because I can't grow hair where it doesn't grow so you see my eyebrow will never be the perfect length but I don't mind because my eyebrows are what they are and I can really add anything to them so the highest point is also off on my eyebrow but it doesn't matter I'm just going to work with what I have and not what I should have the first thing I do is I kind of comb my eyebrows Wait, let me zoom you in. Comb my eyebrows. So they kind of go where they should. And then I take a white eyeliner pencil. Should be sharpened. <laughs> and I draw kind of around my eyebrows. Now, if you want to follow the guidelines, if you have enough eyebrow for the guidelines, you can take your brush and just make a line where it should be be so my highest point should be about here and my eyebrow should end about here not gonna work but okay and now I just like to kind of go like this and draw my perfect eyebrow kind of onto my face so just basically connecting these lines Like that. So after that, what I do is I like to just I like to make it really visible the white line. And then everything that's on or outside of it, I pluck. So I take my tweezers and I remove all the little hairs that are on or outside the white line and I pluck the top of my eyebrows as well I know that you shouldn't pluck on the top of your eyebrow but if you really have stray hairs it's okay so I have some here and I just remove all the little hairs like that 
Okay, so after I've done that, the next step is trimming. Um, I trim my eyebrows because they don't grow in a normal shape. <laughs> For example, I don't know if you can see it, but here my hair grows up, then here it grows sideways, and from kind of here to there it go grows down, like that. And um, my hairs never stay where they should if I put like brow wax in them, so I just trim them into a shape where they should be. So what I do is I take my little brush and some nail cutting scissors and I press the hairs in the direction where they grow. So here that's up. And I trim everything that sticks out into the white zone. So here it's all of this. I use the brush to kind of lift the hair up. And here I press it down. And then the outer edge I don't touch because that's okay for me. It's just really about these hairs. And now my eyebrow will have this shape regardless of whether I put gel in it or not. So after that, I like to just take my finger and blend out this white line that I have. I don't really remove it or anything because it kind of accentuates the eyebrow nicely. So I just blend it into my skin. Now, um... I like to take my eyeshadow, my Makeup Studio eyeshadow that I always use, and a little angled brush, and I take some brown eyeshadow mixed with a little bit of black because my eyebrows are quite dark, and I like to fill in any gaps that I have in my eyebrow. So just lightly go over it with the eyeshadow. So now I take this brush again to kind of blend it in a little. And that's all. So I just did the other thing, the same thing to my other eyebrow. Um, the short routine that I do every other day just consists of plucking and trimming, and I don't do the whole um, white eyeliner thing. That's I only do once a month to kind of get back to my basic shape, which I kind of lose track of when only plucking and trimming. So um, yeah, that is how I maintain my eyebrows. As you can see, I like my eyebrows to look natural. And um, when I say look natural, I mean look natural, not be natural, because, well, most of them are natural, but if I just let my eyebrows grow, my whole face would be covered in eyebrows. So. <laughs> I like them to look like they are supposed to be like this. And I really, really don't like when people have like a drawn line instead of eyebrows. It kind of freaks me out. <laughs> so I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to contact me. And um, yeah, I will see you soon. Bye!